Our lesson today is I can understand how the Babylonians used a base 60 system. Why did they use base 60? There are many different theories, but here are a few examples. One was that 60 has many different factors, so it was easier to divide grain that was sold in the Fertile Crescent. That was the area um, geographically where the Babylonians lived. Another theory is at that time, uh, the calendar had 360 days in a year, and 60 is a factor of 360. Another theory is when we combine fingers and toes, we have 20, and 20 times 3 gives us 60. So 60 divided into three sections is the number of fingers and toes. So that's another theory as to why we use base 60. As you can see in this chart, they only use two main symbols. There's this symbol here and this symbol here. So that is compared to the digits that we have, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Those are the numerals that we see um, in our number system. Go ahead and pause the video if you need to to finish filling that in on your guided notes. To simplify the symbol so it's a little bit faster and easier to write and so it's a little clearer, when we indicate a 10 value, we're going to use this sideways arrow kind of, you know, Pac-Man less than symbol style. And then for um, a 1 value, we are going to use a downward facing triangle as you see here. Using the two different uh, shapes, you can make any one of the 59 different symbols that we saw in the table before. So those symbols will be multiplied by the place value. So this first spot here is the ones place, okay? So it just stands for the number one through 59. The next is the 60s place. So 60 times the number indicated by the symbols. The next spot over is the 60 squared or 3,600 place. So 3,600 times the value indicated. And the next one over is 60 cubed or 21,600 place. So as you can see, this allows them to get to much higher numbers in a fewer number of place values. Let's practice. So, the first example, in the first place value, the ones place, we have 10, as illustrated by this symbol, plus one, two, three, four, indicated by these ones triangles. So, 14 ones total. So, 14, times the one for ones place gives us 14. Next up, we have this triangle over here in the 60s place. So we have one triangle times the 60 place value. So that's gonna give us 60. Then we're gonna sum those together. So we're gonna end up with 74 as our final answer for this one. Let's do one more. In the ones place value, we have one. One times one is one. In the 60s place value, we have 10. 10 times 60 gives us 600. We sum those together and we get 601. Last example. In the ones place, we have one, two, three, four, five triangles. So five times one is five. In the 60s place, we have one. So one times 60 is 60. And in the 3,600 place, we have 10. So 10 times 3,600 gives us 36,000. When we sum this all together, we get 36,000 
and 65. Now it's your turn. Please pause the video, complete the following exercises yourself, and then we'll check over the answers together. All right, let's check your answers now. The first answer for the first example is 72. The second example is 122. And the third example is 3,970. You can pause the video now to look at my work if you need to check any mistakes. We'll talk about the rest of this on our lesson.